Good morning, it's Sam the Old Man here, and today we're going to go after the final um, Doomed Box pulls that I'm going to do, but I'll do that at the end of the video. First, I'm going to claim my re rewards, the Finger Cutter Challenge. Again, I won every single battle, so 546 is the highest you can get without spending money. So let's claim those rewards. And oh, I'm so frustrated about the other challenge. I'll tell you what happened in a minute once we uh, see what it, what position I finished. Um, so let's delete that one now. 1,771 at, with points 93. I was up at 100 and I think it was 105 points. And I was in position 293. And then for the final, I guess it was four or so battles, I just got massive opponents and lost four in a row. I choked right at the end. <laughs> oh, that was so frustrating. I was like, well, that's all right. I lost. I can fight the next one and win and get some back. And I lost it too. And it happened for the remaining uh, battles that I go, yes, green giggity watts, so that's really good. I need giggity watts after um, getting all these new legendary cards from the box pool. And the mailbox is done. Now we're going to go into the challenge and fight these challenges. I need to do these because otherwise I'll forget. It's important to, um, to fight every one of these challenges. Um, you know, especially it's pretty quick and easy, uh, especially when the new one starts. But uh, if you don't do it, like if you miss a day, it has a massive impact on what rank you finish and what um, score you get. Like so much so that it can be the difference for me between getting legendary stones and not getting any legendary stones. And you know what? I want those legendary stones. That's why I spent money on the game in the first place. So that I could rank up higher. I mean, I wasn't just buying the gems and the cards that I bought. I was buying rank and additional legendary coins. Um, but it seems to be getting harder and harder. So we'll, we'll see. There must be more people spending money. <laughs> um, what do I want to do? Oh, it doesn't really matter because, yeah, their cards have no power. So just, just throw those down quickly. I just need to make sure that I don't lose health, especially if I'm fighting someone who has payback as the character skill. Uh, let's see who's next. Excellent. Come on. There we go. And oh, there's no character skills. That's easy. Uh, super easy. Oh, but Chris didn't die. That was odd. At least I've got Tina with the, the heal. So Tina should heal up and then I'll win. There we go. All over. Super all over. That's why it's important to, to have um, heal cards in your deck. Or leech. The brain sucker leech. To leech your health back. Alright, back to another one. Yeah, so the reason I am going to do the box pull to get this final fourth doomsday device, if I can, is because, um, what do you call it? After the, the battleground effect of armed is over, pretty much, I mean, it's not a definitive, but pretty much any card that isn't a quad card as a legendary doesn't have a lasting impact especially against a new battleground effect 
And so, even like, I don't have hardly any arts cards. And I've spent my monthly budget. And next month's budget is probably going into Pokemon Go now that the gyms are back to get... Um, or, if they're not back yet, they will be soon. And I want to get the um, raid event access. So I'll be buying Pokemon Go next month. Um, and, well, yeah. So, that means I need quad legendary cards now of cards that I have to have a shot at still being a top deck, if that makes sense. I mean, it's great to get, I mean, the best value for money is absolutely the special uh, purchases, the specials, way better value for money than single pulls. But um, in terms of longevity of your deck, uh, getting, um, the quad fused legendary has means that you can pretty much use it those cards whenever you want that's that's my experience with the game at least I mean another battleground effects card is still going to be better if you have it if you have a quad battleground effect card absolutely I'll use that instead but especially with the um, new guild siege event, where you're probably going to be fighting, building decks to fight in battlegrounds that you may not um, um, what am I saying? You may not have um, many cards in that particular battleground but you need to build a deck for it. Well, quad fused legendaries, I th in my opinion, are going to be a great answer to that. Um, yeah, so, and plus, I asked for a consensus as, as to what people thought if I should uh, go for this um, fourth uh, doomsday device. And it, it was a little bit mixed. There was a few people that said I should get value for my money. <laughs> Someone said I should just open the whole box. And I would if I could. And if this channel grows big enough um, to the point where the income from the channel is high enough to allow me to open every single box, like just completely open it. Oh, I will absolutely, <laughs> but the, the income from from YouTube is at, at this point is effectively nothing, and I have to stick to my gaming budget. Like, um, I mean, I, I have to stick to my budget. You don't, never want to spend money that you don't have, but especially on this game. And I don't have the money to open a whole box, especially every single whole box. I mean, that's tons of cash. I would def like if you're thinking about spending money on the game and you have it, um, it's certainly a, a decent way to um, to get your deck to like up to scratch because when you do open the whole box or a good chunk of a box, you're gonna get uh, a lot of quad legendary cards and that's that's what gives your deck that lasting impact. That's why my deck is pretty decent because I got a good chunk of the disguise, um, a disguise box, got a few quad cards out of that and now with the second opportunity at the Doomsday device, getting a bunch more quads from the Doomsday device, um, it it should should have a pretty lasting impact. Whoa! Look at that sniper stewie. 
That's got to be one of my favorite cards, Sniper Stewie. I'm pretty sure I've featured Sniper Stewie before, but in case I haven't, Punch of 24 and a Hijack of 14. I mean, the Hijack is, is an awesome bonus when it, you can, it gets effect and gets use. But that Punch of 24 is just massive. My, my thoughts on the legendary cards is sometimes they can't hold their own against the, sorry, not the legendary, the mythic cards. Which I will tell you once I get into the next battle and I just build my coffee everywhere. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, yes. So as I say, mythic cards like Mythic Stewie and Mythic Louise that I have, so my take on it is they're good, um, absolutely, and they make awesome combos. But if you're going up against a quad legendary card, depending on the card, depending who played cards first, sometimes the mythic won't hold its own. Um, especially if it's uh, they get a good legendary combo against your uncomboed mythic, uh, there's a good shot they'll take it down. But if your mythic, if you can put a good combo on your mythic, uh, well, that's a whole other story. <clears throat> like this one here, the Sour of Revenge. It, in fact, that I think will be my, what do you call it, featured card for this event. I'm pretty sure I haven't featured this one before. Recovery of 12, a cripple of 13, and a gas of 15. And the attack and the defense aren't enormously high, but with the cripple and the gas and the recovery, it's, it can certainly hold its own, depending how you end up playing the rest of your deck. And since I have Mythic Stewie as well, I'm playing the rest of my deck um, quite well. <laughs> with 8 punch, and now the book of spells with 10 punch, and there we go, there's a win. Oh, and also it's the first round of this particular um, event. Um, now also, if you're watching today, uh, make sure you subscribe and watch my next video. I'm sure most of you are subscribed already, uh, because tomorrow morning I'm going to have 10,000 Wonderwolf coins again, or I'm fairly certain I will, if I've done my maths correctly. And that means I'm going to go and open uh, either five more boxes or 10 character card pulls and as always um, I'll do what what the viewers want I get a feeling you can want me to do the box openings um, but maybe you want to see character coins this time so it's up for vote <laughs> let's see here we go there's Chewy and there's a uh, hatchet boomhauer. I always play the hatchet boomhauer as soon as I get the opportunity to play the hatchet boomhauer because of the craze. And that means the sooner you play it, the sooner the craze, like the faster the craze ability gets and the less chance they have of killing it, killing the card. I mean, I say always, but there's always exceptions as well. Um, you know, if they have a certain mythic card that can take it out in one go, but you know, in that case, I'm probably done for anyway. All right, there we go, nearly there, and then um, I think we've got some secret fight club battles to do, and then we'll go do the box opening, because as I say, I'm going to do these battles anyway, so I may as well do them with you. 
Mm. I really enjoy my morning coffee. Um, here we go. And my secret coffee ingredient, I love to put honey in my coffee. Um, there we go. And more Wonder Wolf coins, excellent. I think fairly certain I'm on track to get my coins up to the 10,000 mark for tomorrow. Um, no, I'm, I'm yeah, I'll, I'll check after I finish these battles. Fairly certain. Um, there we go. I don't actually, so Santa Stewie can be awesome, especially if you've got tons of cards out for the, um, the seven, is that, I forget what that effect is called. Uh, but because the starting attack is so low, they're going to get an attack back on you. Oh, but in this particular I always do this. In this particular match, it doesn't matter about getting perfect health. The RT Butts challenge, you just have to win it to, and you get one point regardless. Regardless of your health, a win is a point. And he was tough because Mythic Louise is it's great to get your Mythic cards out first. But I think getting the Hatchet Boom Hammer out first is a better move. I'm still trying to get Giggity Watts now. That's the other reason I'm going to do these pulls is because I'm sure I'll get some more um, epic cards that I can just straight up trash for Giggity Watts. All right, shop. Yes, I only need 600 more and I should get that from the next once the energy refreshes tonight and I fight those battles. So that should be um, either five super epic packs or 10 hero token crates or maybe a combination uh, between them depending on how many people want me to do what. Maybe I'll do a combo. But I'm pretty sure I'll do one or the other. Um, Secret Fight Club, I need to get them up at eight. I need to drop that down to make sure it never fills up to get the most possible uh, purple diamonds that I can to get the best shot at getting legendary uh, stone rewards. Uh, that's that's where I've got like the most value from that money. I mentioned it before, but just the fact that I get legendary stone rewards every single one of these events every three days I get legendary stones as long as I play of course um, but I get these legendary stones oh sister Peter's not that great but pimp Peter is perfect with the 19 um, leech it is a leech and the 8 cripple all is fantastic as well there's someone who's already thrown virtue man into their deck um, I really should, like, I'm torn between how much health I've got, enough, enough to put Sandwich down. I'm torn between if I should keep on researching my legendary cards, or with the arts event coming up, whether I should re be researching my Virtue Man combos with my legendary cards. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tough call. Very tough call. And I've won this battle now. Um, yeah, because the Virtue Man is pretty much the only arts card I've got. Um, certainly the only quad arts card. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm really trying to save my Golden Turds for like having enough of them to ensure I'm going to at least get a couple legendary cards from from them. Um, so I really don't think I want to use it uh, on the arts event. So I think I will keep saving. 
I would really like to get at least 10,000, so 10 bulls. Um, but I would like to get more as well if I can. We'll see. Oh, he put frightened robot disguise down. Ouch, that is tough. Um, and I can't, he's got Hank with 21 health. I have no choice but to put Santa Stewie down. Um, I may have lost, or, or maybe I put Book of Spells and hope that the punch has some impact, but it doesn't. So I, I may have lost this one, but that'll get my um, points down enough. Yep, there we go, there's a defeat. So that will be the fights for this, this match. No massive win streak today. I've had some unlucky battles. Look how many, uh, look at my score. Um, 13.98. I've just lost tons, tons of them all in a row. Or like that, win one, lose one. Um, against some massively powerful decks. Like I fought one guy who threw out three mythic cards at me. Now what you've all been waiting for, the card pulls. Now cards. Doomsday box. All right, and we're after one more doomsday device. Bye. Now the single, oh, nice mythic stones. Buy more. Um, yes, more mythic stones. Buy more. And giggity watts, which I actually need. And more giggity watts. All right, come on, doomsday. Wow, that's pretty unlucky. I should get a legendary soon. Come on, come on, give me the legendary. A bender, buy more. It's uh, not looking likely like I'm gonna get the, the doomsday device. Not looking likely at all. I'd only have a couple more pulls. Uh oh, tons of giggity watts though. And finally, gingerbread guns. Was that the last one? Nope, I still get a couple more. A gun for Christmas. Come on, Doomsday Bender. Yes, I got it! I got it! Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> and how many gems left? Ooh, I only had uh, 450 per pull. I had two pulls left. <laughs> oh, so good. And I've got enough gems there to do a special later, or I'll just keep saving them again. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I, I got it. Let's go look at the deck. I wonder if, so I've got these extra legendary cards, um, apply that like, um, from armed, for example, there's two gingerbread guns. There's an extra two hatchet boom hours. A single fused isn't bad. Maybe I should keep it. I was thinking like maybe I should um, recycle the legendary for, for tons of giggity watts. You know, just out of interest, how many do you get for recycling the legendary? 40. All right, there's the answer. No, no, do not do that. There we go. Good, it's out. Let's make sure it's not recycled, yes. So, <coughs> deck. I've got single doomsday, single doomsday. And in my deck here, we've got uh, a single fuse doomsday. I've got enough to quad my doomsday device. Woo! That will be useful. The quad doomsday device is powerful. Well, thanks for watching. That was a uh, pretty fun and successful video I'd say. 
can't believe I got the Doomsday device. It was looking iffy there. I'll catch you later.